Since qualifying for the VEX World Competition in 2021, Millard North's very own robotics team 5069Z has become one of the top teams globally. 5069Z finished last year ranked in the top 10 globally. Putting together a team that can have this type of success is no easy feat though. It takes hours of work daily and a group with just the right amount of chemistry. I guess it would just be like our team dynamics. Like we, we work so differently together than I think other teams do. Like we like do a bunch of stuff that you wouldn't see in other teams. Like um, we focus on like having one person do something and then everybody else checks it or something like that. And like other teams that would generally do everything together. I think what sets our team apart from other teams is the amount of time that we're willing to put in. I think it's, it's fine. Er, it's hard to find a group of four or five people that are willing to put in the amount of time that we do and just kind of commit to, you know, becoming better at everything that we do all the time. I think that's what uh, makes us better. The VEX competition is always changing. The changing of the competition means the team must undergo the design process year in and year out to stay competitive. First, we all get together and we brainstorm. Like We come up with different ideas. We take inspiration from other robots, other teams. Then we CAD model it, or we pick our design, then we CAD model it. That's done by pretty much anybody. We all can CAD model pretty effectively. And then we get together, we prototype, we build, then we test stuff, and then we end up getting to our final design, which we bring in tournaments. Only a select 800 teams make the competition globally. This means they must stand out among the competition, not only in Nebraska, but on a national and global level. So there's 800 teams that qualify, which seems like a lot, and part of it kind of is, but there's also 85 teams in Nebraska, and Nebraska is a smaller state, so there's a lot of teams that are trying to qualify for Worlds, so it's a really competitive process. And this year, eight teams from Nebraska, so eight out of the 25 will qualify. So that's 10% of the teams that go to Worlds, which is about normal for all the states. With the Blue View, this has been Gabe Miller and Paul Carlson.